I had a classmate in high school who, who seemed to have everything together. He was a brilliant guy, genius. Hindi naman nag-aaral, pero laging top sa class. He was very popular and people naturally gravitated towards him. He was always elected president in most of the school organizations and it was as if everything came easy for him. Meanwhile, ordinary mortals like me and my other classmates had to be diligent, had to study hard, struggle with all of our blood, sweat, and tears to get good grades. We had to muster all our confidence we can gather from every molecule in our bodies to stand up on stage if we were to perform or recite speeches or take part in school programs. Feeling ko, hindi fair. <laughs> Bakit may mga tao who get what they want without even trying? Samantalang ang daming katulad ko who, who have to try very, very hard just to gain anything, kahit konti. Somehow, we're driven to push hard and work hard and try very hard to be, to be noticed, to be, to be recognized, to be rewarded in life. Pero pag pagod ka na, naisip din ko minsan, bakit ba ako nagpapakapagod? Para saan ba tayo nagpuprosigi? Sometimes when we look deep inside ourselves, we're not even sure why we even do what we do. Why we even push so hard in our pursuit of success and recognition. And you know, experts tell us that we are often driven by our inner voices, uh, these stories and messages that are running in our minds, and that somehow we've embraced to be true. And I have to admit that when I was a child, I felt I was not good enough compared to my, to my siblings. My eldest brother was very intelligent. My sister was very artistically gifted. My youngest brother was very good in sports. And I was, well, not sure about what I wanted to do. So I tried very hard to be intelligent, tried very hard to be artistic, and I just gave up on sports and didn't even try. I could never measure up. One thing I realized, though, is that even as one tries very hard to prove oneself, you know, you will never feel you are good enough. Whatever it is you're pursuing, you will always fail in comparison to someone else. There will always be someone better than you. You try harder, and the harder you try, the more you feel you are not good enough. Especially as you see others who seem to excel in their field with so much ease. You feel, it's, you feel it's unfair. You feel worthless. You feel you're not good enough for anything. But we do not have to feel this way. Because in truth, we just might be pursuing a completely wrong direction if we are not pursuing the will of God. We need to understand that we will be most at peace with ourselves only when we are at the center of God's will. The prophet Jeremiah wrote about what God wanted his people to know when they felt they were not where they wanted to be at a certain point in their history. God said to the prophet Jeremiah, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. It is God who knows His plans for His people. It is God who knows His plans for you. So if you put your trust in God, then your plans must be submitted to His plans. And when you do, you do not have to try very hard to move forward or to get ahead. You will be exactly where God wants you to be at that point in time according to His will. And God will be with you every step of the way. Remember, in learning to follow the will of God, faith matters too.